ocean to study one of my favorite things in the world, which is algae. And without algae, there would be nothing else living in the ocean, essentially because they're the base of the food chain. And um, I'm here to learn about what they're doing with phosphorus, which is a nutrient that all of us living things need. So at the bottom of this line is something really exciting. It's a plankton net. And we are fishing for plankton that are about 50 microns in size. So we're gonna pull it up here and see what we find. <laughs> and here it is, the plankton net that we've recovered from 20 meters. phytoplankton and how phosphorus is cycled in the ocean and part of my work involves this sample here that we just took and we want to look at it to see what kind of microorganisms are living in these waters. First of all we want to look at it under a low power magnification using a dissecting scope like this one. And then from there we take a small volume of sample and place it on a glass slide, such as this one, and examine it under a compound microscope. We have a substantial amount of phaocystis, which is a green-colored alga that lives in colonies, and also diatoms, which you've probably heard of, are little phytoplankton that live in glass houses. about what I've been doing here is to collect seawater that has been taken from deep in the water column and then filter it onto these 25 millimeter filters and collect housing. So collect the particles. See in this housing is where the filter will go. So the water comes down through here, the particles settle onto the filter in this housing. So that's how I collect particles to analyze chemically. 